Greetings and salutations, I am Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Victoria 2 as Russia. Well, I've been looking at the regions here because I'm look, trying to find colonial states that are close to becoming actual states. I like this little experiment. It takes forever. But I kind of like the idea of turning these areas into proper Russian areas. So I'm going to do this. See if we can swing that. There are actually very small Russian pops in these uh, in these zones, I believe. Otherwise it wouldn't even show up. Let's see. Nationality. Yep, we have some Russians there. And the same is true down there. Very small, small groups of Russians. We are, of course, trying to assimilate them so we can get, uh, yeah, even more Russians. Everybody must become Russians. So how's the work going on in this, by the way? Uh, because I've been trying to convert Primoyes for quite a long time. There are actually quite a few Russians here now. Of course, there are a ton more Manchu. Uh, and they're never gonna convert. Because they have cores. So the Manchu will never become Russian. But as you can see, the Koreans here, they're slowly becoming Russian. And the Siberians are not. And right, we had the crises. That's the problem. Japan has sided with Germany. Has that affected anyone's... where anyone will jump? interested in supporting Germany. I don't really want to fight Germany, but... I really don't. I mean, ideally, I actually want this to happen. I want Serbia to get those cores. But I don't want to fight my allies, so... Let's wait for a little while longer. Let's see, Moldavia. I can uh, increase opinion. I can add sphere. Yes, you are in our sphere of interest. You now wants access. That's fine. I assume that little marker means. We cannot increase what. Okay, why did... Rebels are risen. Okay, so... Okay, there we go. Britain decided to side with them. That means France is more likely, I assume, to join. Look at the Axis. The Axis have joined. Not only that, they to set up quite southern Serbia and humiliate Austria. You and USA, you're gonna take Bayern. This one has extreme potential for becoming a great war. <sighs> And that makes me nervous. I don't really want to fight a great war. 383 in standing army. We have 6 to 2 in standing army. One hundred and fourteen in standing army. 
Really? That's almost the same as them, and then we have Japan, which I could certainly trounce. They have 96. Okay. I guess we'll side with our ally. We kind of need France to take sides too. I assume they will. So I'm going to go there. Even though I want this to actually happen. Who would have thunk it? Serbia starting a war. Or Ser Serbia serving as the flashpoint of a war, rather. Let's see. One, two, three... One engineer. Don't have any dragoons here. Did I build dragoons? Okay, Ryazan, you're building them, I hope. Ryazan, where are you? You're somewhere in this area. There you are. Okay, you're building them sequentially. That's why, so we'll get Dragoons. Uh, but what we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 artillery. So we have 2 artillery pieces too many. One engineer too many. And nowhere near enough infantry. Something's off here. Did I send the wrong style army somewhere. These all have the composition I want. That's just a flat regiment. That's that's the grouping army. Let's see you have the proper order. Both of you are okay I think. Oh yeah, there we go. One that's very, very unbalanced. That's not at all what you want you to have. So I'm going to load you up. How long until the Great War starts? 160 days. Okay, so move these two regiments and we're going to send you over to Europe. the canal and back to safe port there and I'm gonna move you guys down here and I'm gonna set this to be the rally point and sort all of that stuff out excellent Politics, that's what I want, want to go check. Movements! The minimum wage campaign is rather strong. Common school is rather strong. 45 in favor of another reform. Much the same for social reform. We're getting there. I wish I could <laughs> renege the temperance stuff. I don't think I can. Sadly. Pity. Very much a pity. And yeah, I'm just waiting now for 1900 to roll by before I start researching tech again. Oh my! <laughs> okay. So they accept, they actually decided to Okay. Good for you, Austria. And Venice is independent. When, right, that was something Germany fought over earlier. Oh, well, good. So no great war this time.
and we can sphere oh, another influence. No, we can't sphere Sweden. Let's do that. Welcome to the welcome to the club, Sweden. Club Russia. Reorganization of the upper house. Slightly more socialists. Slightly more communists. Less liberals. Less conservatives. Okay. Antitrust laws. Fantastic. Rebels in Moldavia. Yeah, there's. Yeah, right. There are rebels. Would you grant us military access? You would. So let's squish them. Because we are so nice. Okay, now it's 1900. All new techs have shown up. Where to go for first, huh? Coal, iron, steel production. That's a lot. And these are endgame techs, so they are kind of... Kind of potent. I'm thinking that's going to be their best spot bet there. We really want to get... Yeah, we really want to get our uh, research up, so that's going to go first. Probably the rest of these things. For all the uh, things they give us. Now we also have the new fun things here. Greater tax efficiencies. There are a lot of texts I want, there they really are, but we're going to start with this. That's going to take us almost a year. That's going to let us research the rest of the stuff faster. So probably this next, so we can get more migration to the colonies. Hey, look at that. We can enact reforms. These unfortunately cost money. 5% want the trinket minimum wage. And let's see, 1% wants that. Almost no one wants this. 0.74%. Yeah, they're pretty much for the basic school system. 6% wants this. That's probably the largest one, I assume, yeah. Which is also what I want, because it increases educational efficiency. that is the largest popular movement, I believe, common school. Well, minimum wage is also pretty darn large. Five point fifty. This is the odd thing. It says more more of the pops want the basic school system than the trinket minimum wage, but this movement is larger. Still, uh, that is probably what I want first. 2% attraction, that's only 1% attraction. Not sure how much it's gonna cost us though. That's the thing. Social spending, that's zero right now, that's gonna change radically. At the end of the month, I assume. Or does it go over the education budget? Not sure. I would have thought it was in social spending. Malvis Bay. Excellent. Of course. Germany is at war. What? Who did you go to war with Germany? You are for with France and Austria-Hungary for... What? <laughs> German liberation of Bayern. <laughs> I want that back. That's what he says. Um. Yeah, I think they're gonna win this though. We'll see. 
Oh, socialists in power in Germany. We're still importing liquor. Right, we wanted to go check our factory situation first. Craftsman. Yeah, pretty much all the factories here have closed, which is kind of bad. I want to pay to open them all to see if we can get some of them to be profitable again. Might happen. And you have a cornerstone industry, so... no, oh, don't close it. Uh, open both factories. Subsidize them, that's okay. This at least can be subsidized. Let's try. See if we can keep these factories going. Subsidize these because they are corner industries. Hmm, let's expand the one factory that has some merit. It's like subsidizing factories, but if that's what it's going to take to keep things going here, I guess we'll have to. And deselect all factories because we wanted to check all of our liquor situation. You closed the factory? No! You need to subsidize the liquors. You need to keep them going. And all of these are being expanded. Let's expand this one as well. And this one. Must have more liquor. Still importing tea. This war is going to be interesting. Oh, you're suffering nationalists. Why is this number? Down. Let's see. Okay, I assume that the school system goes over the education budget then because I'm not seeing anything on social spending. Um Lewis Militancy, yes yeah, sure. Lewis Militancy. I'm not sure I like how incredibly swingy. The income just became. Yeah, I think Germany is going to get their core back. <laughs> Fairly certain they're going to get their core back. Let's see. Temperance and labor. I don't want any of them to get militancy. Oh, that's loose militancy. Okay, fine then. You know it's gonna die. Austria is definitely gonna have some issues. Let's see. We can only join the losing side. And the war score is at least 1%. Oh, minus 3. Really? They're losing battles. Huh. Interesting. I wonder why they're losing battles, but they are, apparently. thinking about getting a few more ships, but I'm not sure if you have the support for it. Let's see. Navy has 155 ships. Uh, 1604. Supply throughput. Require 1377. Oh, I completely forgot about that. So we can only... About 200 points. We can make four more battleships. That about, that's about it based on our current uh, support. So, okay, let's do that. 
What do you want more cruisers? How many more cruiser can how many more cruisers can I make with the current support? That's twenty. So that's ten cruisers. Okay, let I guess let's make ten cruisers. Uh, let's see. That's all but one, but yeah. Six. Sevastopol. Seven. Uh, Sevastopol was the last now. There we go, that's ten cruisers. That's pretty much all the capacity we have. So now we need more ports. And larger ports. Ah, we should try again. We did start the expansion up here, right? Yep, we did. So now we just need to find the naval bases over here. Expedition just appears without a trace. Okay. Okay, naval view. Show me where the ports are. already exists, that's fine, but can you please, like, tell me where? Since that would kind of be helpful. Okay, there we go. 30,000 there. Expanding the naval base in this region. It's... Now I need to save up money. This maintenance, uh, the uh, industry subsidies, I think. That's 54, it's not much. So it's not the deciding factor here. Hey, Mosega has become a core. Please, like, not send anything to Colombia for a while. We're still banned, okay. Until 20th of August, two months. But Greece we can improve our relations with. Yeah, and at this point I think I can possibly potentially intervene, right? No. Well, actually we can if they're friendly, which they're not. I'm still losing battles though. But they have pretty much already occupied Bavaria. Did I see that right? Well, that's Croatia. I thought it was... Croatia. Oh my, Croatia is actually independent? Yeah, they are. I thought they were part of Italy still. Okay, never mind them. Interesting. I mean, I haven't looked at my rebellion map for a while. All the ones down there, there. Finding those, trying to call these. Oh right, we were supposed to... Oh, oh, oh. You're attritioning to death, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> oops. Oops, oops, oops. They've been standing there and attritioning for quite a while, I think. Uh, that's not good. Away you go. Am 
Why? The militancy here has actually died down. Fantastic. Not the militancy up here, though. Let's go and deal with that. Darn it. I wish I'd noticed this earlier. That was rather annoying. Um, you guys group up. I need to check. I assume you are balanced regiments. You are not. Apparently, no, you have too much, too much artillery. Because that's a balanced one. Oh, right, because I sent in one of those who had more infantry. You, get back there. And sort this mess out. So, this one is a properly balanced regiment. You can go there. And now, we should be able to split this evenly. If he can move out, there we go. Excellent. And now you can go on rebel busting duty as well. Much, much better. Another more ships. Or something. Oh, right. Now I can stop the ones in Colombia. Let's do that right now. Before I forget. Because Colombia is not really interesting to us anymore. We don't need Colombia at all. We are interested in Wallachia. We are interested in all of these smaller nations on our frontier. Um, do they like us, by the way? Not all of them. Might as well increase relations just a tad. Why would you ever go with the other one? Not sure. Of course we'll attend the Olympics. You know what, I'm gonna stop uh, subsidies, I think. Into the factories. Uh, okay, let's see. Select all factories. Cancel all subsidies. Then sort by craftsmen that are not working. And let's just expand the factories that are making some profit here. Yeah, so you oh, darn it. make some factories that make make a buck, would you? Would it be nice to sort by sort by most profitable factory? <laughs> That's the one you want to expand. the import-export thing like now. Still tea. Tea and tobacco. We're exporting... 
extreme quantities of timber. Good quantities of grain and cattle. Not industrial goods, but that's pretty much to be expected given the size of our country. We are industrializing. Don't get it wrong, but... Bloody strike. So I can make the pops more socialist. But they don't vote, so... Let them be conservative. Marquesas is a core, and we can... Ooh, we can create an Alaskan state. That's what I wanted. Alaska, a state of Russia. Fantastic. That means we can start building factories and stuff in Alaska. Well, that's fun! I think I'm gonna take a short break on that notice. Finally, we got this done. Now we have tons of colonial power. So now we just need to get the rest of them. Get bureaucrats. Enough bureaucrats. We'll see if that happens next time. Thank you for watching.